Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. With two lawsuits challenging the nomination and forthcoming coronation of the 21st Ulu of Wari Kingdom pending in the courts, the August 21st, 2021 date scheduled for the coronation of Prince Sholai Miku as the next Ulu of Wari Kingdom no longer appears sacrosanct. The following report considers options available to feuding parties in the controversy surrounding the Ulu of Wari stool to avert an imminent interregnum in the Wari Kingdom. August 21st, 2021 is a date that has been fixed for the coronation of Prince Shola Emiko as the 21st Ulu of Wari Kingdom. Before this time, all the traditional processes and rites leading to the coronation had been successfully performed by Prince Shola Emiko. However, as the Ishekiri nation waits anxiously for the coming of August Day of Coronation, it now appears that hurdles have been mounted on the path to the coronation with the sole aim of truncating what promises to be an epoch-making event. Two lawsuits have already been filed in court to ensure that the August 21, 2021 date chosen for the coronation is not a reality. The first lawsuit was filed by Prince Oyowole Emiko, son of the immediate past Olu of Wari, who himself wants to be king and has asked the court to compel Chief Airi Emami, the Olubushere of Wari Kingdom, to declare him as Olu designate. He is joined in the suit by his uncle Bernard Emiko, who also wants the removal of Prince Shola Emiko as Olu designate. On Thursday, 22nd July 2021, the matter brought before a state high court in Asaba was adjourned to August 5, 2021, following change of counsel for the claimants as well as the notice served by parties seeking to join the suit. All our counsels filed motions to join. So basically the matter was adjourned for joinder of parties that are indicating an interest to join the, the suit as time progresses. The condition in court was convivial. In fact, all the parties, I'm sure, are satisfied with what happened in court here today. In this, in this drama, there's no victor, there's no vanquish, because the entire Shekri people were one. The only victor we have in this drama, as epitomized by Prince Shola and Miko, the Olu designate is the Shekri people. The second suit filed by Chief Airi Emami, the Olubushere of Wari Kingdom, at a Wari High Court is challenging his suspension as Olubushere, as well as seeking an interlocutory injunction to prevent anyone from crowning Prince Shola Emiko or any other person for that matter as the next Olu of Wari Kingdom, pending the determination of the suit. Chief Airi is also asking the court to interpret the 1979 Chieftaincy Edict, which he believes will favor his case. When the matter came up for preliminary hearing at the Wari High Court on Thursday, 22nd July 2021, the court decided that preliminary applications be deferred and all pleadings should be filed and served before the next adjourned date of 3rd August 2021. Let the court determine what the law is. Can he be suspended? That is what the Ayere Mami has just come to do. Can he be suspended by the Guinea ruling house? Can also any other person act the role of a Lubushera in line with the law? That's just the essence of coming to court. We have to follow due process. Justice will prevail at the end of the day. In spite of what the outcome may be from the courts, the Ishakiri nation believes Prince Shola Emiko is already king and cannot be prevented from ascending the throne as he has been pronounced as Ogyame, king of Wari Kingdom, upon completion of the Iken rites, the single most important rite that qualifies one to ascend the exalted throne of Ulu of Wari Kingdom. As the countdown to August 21st continues, most Ishekiris cannot help but wonder if the courts would stop the coronation or Ishekiris would achieve a reconciliation of all aggrieved parties and ensure a hitch-free coronation ceremony. Inside the Niger Delta, 